All About Wolves, Part D. The life of a wolf is largely occupied with walking. Wolves are tremendous walkers. Day after day, wolves commonly walk for eight hours a day, averaging five miles per hour. They commonly travel 30 miles a day and may walk 4,000 miles in a year. Wolves in packs walk for two basic reasons, to capture food and to defend their territories. Isle Royal wolf territories average about 75 square miles, small compared to some wolf populations where territories can be as large as 500 square miles. To patrol and defend even a small territory requires endless walking. About once a week, wolves patrol most of their territorial boundary. About every two to 300 yards, an alpha wolf will scent mark, that is, urinate or defecate in a conspicuous location. This communicates to other wolves that this area is defended. Territorial defense is a matter of life and death. Intruding wolves, if detected, are chased off or killed if possible. Because territories are a pack's hunting grounds, giving up territory to other wolves is giving up food for the family. Territories are large enough to contain all the prey that a pack needs. Much drama in a wolf community comes from territoriality and the behavior of aggressive and opportunistic wolves. Isle Royal wolves capture and kill with their teeth, moose that are 10 times their size. The successful alpha wolf will do this more than 100 times in its life. Wolves minimize the risk of severe injury and death by attacking the most vulnerable, the young, the old, or the sick. A moose can easily swing around, lifting the wolf into the air and hurl the wolf into a tree. Most experienced wolves have broken and healed their ribs on several occasions. Moose can also deliver powerful kicks with their hooves. Wolves occasionally die from attacking moose. Somehow wolves are incredible judges of what they can handle. Wolves encounter and chase down many moose. During the chase, wolves test their prey. Wolves attack only about one out of every 10 moose they chase down. Of the moose they do attack, they kill eight or nine of every 10. The decision to attack or not is a vicious tension between intense hunger and wanting to not be killed by your food. Typically, wolves consume impressive portions of their prey, eating all but the rumen contents, larger bones, and some hair. They typically consume 80 to 100% of all that is edible. These eating habits make sense. Starvation is a very common cause of death for wolves. Killing prey requires a tremendous amount of energy and is a life-threatening prospect for a wolf. They can't afford to waste anything with nutritional value. When wolves are active, they are really active. On a daily basis, they burn about 70% more calories compared to typical animals of similar size. The intensity at which wolves work while hunting is far beyond the capabilities of a human. While spending all this energy, wolves may eat only once every 5 to 10 days. During the time between kills, a wolf may lose as much as 8 to 10% of its body weight. However, a wolf can regain all this lost weight in just two days of eating and resting. When food is plentiful, wolves spend a substantial amount of time simply resting because they can. When food is scarce, wolves spend much time resting because they need to. Wolves work tremendously hard, but they also take resting very seriously. The causes of wolf death are primarily lack of food and being killed by other wolves over conflict in conflict over food. Most wolves die while in the process of trying to find a new pack to join as young adults. Leaving the home pack is tremendously risky, but a risk worth taking. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is reproducing, and reproduction is very unlikely within the pack to which a wolf is born. It is better to risk death for some chance of finding a mate in territory than to live safely but have virtually no chance of reproduction.